This is a pointer. This is an array. They are very similar, but have a few differences that can catch you off guard. First of all, getting an element from a pointer is identical to how you would get an element from an array. Imagine we have a pointer which is pointing to some heap memory. We can get each of the three elements in two ways. One, we can index each element like this, or we can use pointer arithmetic like so. Be careful with this method, as you need to include the dereference operator, or else you will end up getting the addresses of your elements. Now, keep in mind, all of these work exactly the same way with arrays. For example, if we have an array A, getting the elements from this array would be identical to how we would with our pointer. First of all, we can index it. Second, we can use pointer arithmetic. Now, what's the difference between an array and a pointer? Well, one difference is that using the size of operator on a pointer won't give you how many bytes your pointer is pointing to, but it will give you the number of bytes an array is. For example, if we have a pointer PTR and we take the size of it, we will either get two, four, or eight, depending on your system. On the other hand, if we have a char array, we will know that calling size of on this array will always give us 10. So keep that in mind, you don't know the length of what your pointer is pointing to, but with arrays you can always calculate your array's length since it retains that information. To calculate this array's length, you can always run size of C divided by char, or more simply just getting size of C. Passing an array to a function is probably one of the strangest aspects of C, an array will always decay to a pointer when you pass it to a function. For example, if we define a function f that takes an array like this. If we call this function and pass it an array, the array will always decay into a pointer. For example, for example, we can use the size of operator inside a function and outside the function, and we will get different sizes. This is because the array we pass through a function decayed into a pointer. Another thing about arrays is that you can't reassign their memory location. For example, if we have a pointer like this, we can reassign this pointer fairly easily, but this isn't the same with arrays. Since arrays are bound to the remember locations, we can't change the address of an array. Once you define an array, you can't change its address. Make sure you check out the playlist on your screen right now, and I will see you later.